the itch. See, we got to be careful with all of that stuff. And then we just, we living in this pipe dream, just, uh, you know, just as if something is just going to fall out the sky. See, a lot of Christians are guilty of that. Just will fall out, just something just going to, like, like, like a, a bag full of money is just going to. <laughs> and I'm not saying that can happen. That's not what I'm saying. But see, but we, but we in this, this. You know, what, 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 what are we doing? You know, we think, boy, if somebody, somebody just helped me out, I'll be all right. See, that's that, that's that begging mentality. And you will never receive anything from God because you ain't in faith. Because faith never begs. Faith don't beg. Now, those of us who've been in church sometime, I understand, you know, we do all these begging prayers. Oh, Lord, your poor, weak, humble servant coming before you as an empty pitcher ready to be filled. <laughs> don't y'all, don't shoot at, don't you get mad at me. I've been grown a long time. Amen. Begging prayers. Faith does not beg. We're told in the scripture to come before the throne of grace with boldness, not cowardly. You know, pleading with God, Lord, if you do it, fine. If you don't, you don't. We're told in the scripture that we're to have confidence. Don't come begging God. Somebody ain't liking that one, but you, 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 you'll be all right. See, stop begging God, because there's no faith in that. Then we wonder why, he didn't hit, no, no, no. No, he ain't listening to that. He ain't listening to no begging. And he ain't moved by your tears. Now, I know some of us don't want to hear it, and I know how it be. You, you be in a situation and them tears, but I say it all the time. Listen, bite your tongue, do something, be white, you know. I ain't going to cry, I ain't going to cry. Do, do what you got to do. Because God is not moved by your emotions. Faith is not moved by emotions. I've been teaching it for years. Faith is not a feeling. It's not revealed in the senses. Don't tell me you in faith and you crying like some punk. You ain't in faith. I don't care how long you've been saved. You ain't in faith. And then that's why you don't have a right to expect to receive anything from God. Now, I know it sounds harsh. I ain't mad at you. But every night then, I can't keep thouing and thus. Some of us need to hear it raw, right in front of your face. Oh, my. A couple of verses, and I'm going to stop. Go to 1 John. I mentioned it before. First John. Now, I ain't finished that part in Romans 10, 17, uh, 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 10, 10, 14. How can they hear without preaching? See, some of us, we can't hear faith because we ain't hearing the word because we don't show up to church to hear the preacher. That's another message for another time. I ain't got to go to church. I guess you don't. You don't have to go to the washroom either. But you can't stop the flow. All right, let me, let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move on. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all catching it, but let's move on. Let's move on. First John, the fifth chapter, verse 14. This is the confidence Somebody shout confident. confident. This is the confidence that we have in him, in God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Now, this verse right here, this, this totally eliminates how religion used to tell you, you know, that, that God don't answer all prayer. That's not true. 
you know, I, I, I heard once that God has three answers. Yes, no, or not now. And you got some folks saying God don't answer all prayer. Well, if, if that's true, then this, this verse is a lie here because it says this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, then whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. So now there's no such thing as unanswered prayer. No such thing. No such thing. God answers all prayer. No such thing as unanswered prayer. I prayed this and he didn't answer it. No such thing. See, because if that was true, this verse doesn't make sense. Because he said this is the confidence that we have. If we ask anything according to his word, he hears us. And if we know he hears us, then we know we have it. So if I got it, then prayer has been answered. But see, now the key is, 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 is asking according to his will or according to his word. Now you can't pray to God about, Lord, give me the strength to go kill my husband. You can't do that because that's not his will. Some of y'all look like, it's not? No. I'm an equal opportunist, so kill your wife. Some of y'all who landlord giving you a hard time, or kill your landlord. Can't kill your landlord. Hallelujah. So, God answers all the time. But you see, you have to be in faith. See, to really understand this scripture, you, you have to receive it by faith. See, you can't have confidence in something you're not sure about. See, that's why I said earlier, sometimes most Christians, we pray, we don't really believe it. You know, we, we don't. We, we come to God, first of all, we're praying, we, we come to God giving him our story as if he don't know. Most people, you'll be surprised, most Christians don't really know how to pray beyond 30 seconds. Most of them don't. See, because after they say this and say that, then they keep going, then they start getting into other stuff. They start testifying. Oh, Lord, and I thank you for... <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have brought that one up. Let me move off that quick. I ain't talking about nobody. But see, well, I mean, we got to even understand what is actual prayer. It's more or less just giving the, 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 the word back to God, what he's already said. See, the key really is to get God to hear. How do I get God? What, what will open the ears of God? Hearing his will, hearing his word. See, because anything outside his word, he don't understand that. That would be just like if somebody was talking to you in a foreign language. You don't, you don't understand what they're saying. They would have to speak your language so you can understand what they're saying. So to get God to open his ears to hear you, you've got to say his word. You've got to say what he said. That's why to say, Lord, will you heal me? That's a good confession, but that's not a faith confession. And God is not listening to that because that's not what he said. Now, I know it can sound like we, you know, that, 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 well, you just nitpicking. No, no, we say what God says. We don't have to try to reinvent the wheel. Yeah, Lord, I know what you say, but, you know, my situation is different. No, it ain't about no situation. Is what God says. The key is get God to listen. Get God to open his ears. And the only way God is going to open his ears is you, this word. And folks, it's really not that difficult. We've done everything else. We put a lot of energy into our emotions and crying and boohooing to God and all of that. Why don't we just put our energy in this? You know, sometimes we make things more difficult than what it is. And it's really not. You know, just, just, just flip the direction. Instead of going in a kernel sense, let's, let's go, go in a spiritual sense. Instead of me pleading to God and this or that and whether it happened, whether it don't, let me, let's, let me just do it God's way. 